Total joint replacement is a surgery where we go into the knee or hip and remove arthritic bone and cartilage and replace it with metal and plastic components. Essentially, we get rid of the pain generating tissues in the hip and the knee and give a patient components that will hopefully provide long-term pain relief and return to function. So joint preserving surgery is kind of the opposite end of that where we have patients who have conditions that may make them get arthritis in the future and we perform surgeries now uh, that can help prolong the life of their, their native hip uh, or their native knee. And we always try non-surgical treatments first. Again, anti-inflammatories, injections, braces, uh, a, an assistive device like a cane or a crutch. And in some patients, uh, those can be enough to get them through their day. There are certain lifestyle changes that can be made to help prolong the life of a patient's joint, maintaining a healthy weight and a healthy diet, staying active, and other things like that can help hopefully avoid a surgery. And it's really pain that it has resp not responded to non-surgical treatments. Once all those things have failed, then it's time to start thinking about a surgical solution for uh, pain associated with, arth with the arthritis. Uh, so we think we do a great job of getting our patients ready for surgery. Uh, something else we focus on here at VCU is optimization of our patients before surgery. We like to make sure that any medical problems that you have are in as good a shape as they can be before surgery. Uh, we work closely with our internal medicine colleagues, hematologists, endocrinologists to make sure that medical problems like high blood pressure and diabetes are under as good a control as they can be before going through with a surgery because they can lead to complications and we want to avoid that. Typically, we plan for a one or two day stay in the hospital. Uh, we are much more aggressive about getting patients up and out of bed, hopefully on the day of surgery if possible. We found that that actually improves patient outcomes. Uh, we want you to be in a recovery role, not a sick role. Uh, we want you to have your mindset that you're getting better after your surgery. After surgery, we get you up and moving early on so we can get you back to living.